Hi uh, viewers, uh, this is Salahuddin uh, with a new lecture, with a new topic uh, of British history. As I already told you, my, I am preparing for the competitive exams for the last four years. I have rich experience in the said subject, British history. I also taught this subject uh, for the uh, competitive exams and we have talked about the previous lectures we will not go in detail of those lectures if uh, if you want to know right from the very start of the British history and so you must start it from the first lecture as I have given in the playlist there's the, the first lecture second and third and onward so in this way we will continue our lectures uh, in, in, in an order so that you may be able to to cover all those events uh, uh, right in a way that you may not get confused uh, there is no uh, specific topics or, or there is no such events that uh, uh, that are given in the syllabus that they in inference an aspirant uh, needs to go through these topics only in order to cover the, the syllabus and, 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 and that will uh, uh, compromise that he will get uh, maximum marks. Uh, I have this experience is I have been through uh, uh, twice uh, CSS and PMS so I have uttered these topics in, in in a way through which we can cover all the topics as well as in in other um, that the, the the previous topics must not over, uh, uh, be overlapped overlapped and thus uh, in a way uh, that we will uh, cover the entire syllabus um, uh, in 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 another so we have talked about the previous uh, uh, the previous uh, lecture lectures and today we will talk about the uh, the war of Spanish succession. This is the uh, fifth lecture and fifth topic: the war of Spanish succession. Uh, this war of Spanish uh, Spanish succession uh, really um, carries great importance. Uh, if we look at the exam point of view. Uh, question uh, often asked uh, on the same topic that uh, what was war of Spanish succession what were the causes of um, the same war and how the war was concluded uh, so under which treaty the war was concluded what um, uh, is the importance of that treaty what are the classes and uh, and the treaty so we will talk about all these important points Unfortunately, we cannot make short videos because these are such topics which are lengthy and and need and and, and need to be covered in in one uh, go. Therefore, the videos are getting uh, lengthy. So I am so sorry for that. I couldn't uh, make it short because these topics are lengthy. Uh, so coming to the topic, uh, the war of uh, Spanish succession. Uh, why this war took place uh, so the first and important reason was the um, <clears throat> Charles II who was the uh, the king of Spain and he was uh, childless uh, though he had uh, two uh, sisters and, and those sisters were married to the other kings at that time in Europe. So uh, there, was, there was no apparent uh, inherent to the throne. So thus a kind of situation created that who will uh, mm, uh, come to the throne of Spain. So in this way the war took place between, uh, between England, France and some other states because they were the great powers at that time and a vacuum was created as a result uh, as a result of the death of Charles II so uh, 
this uh, uh, war of Spanish succession was part for 11 years Star, uh, started uh, in 1702 and lasted till um, 1713 so this after uh, the, the, the tenure of this war or uh, the duration of this war this war was 11 years finally the war was concluded as a result of a treaty and we will also talk about the treaty the importance of the treaty but first coming to this war of spanish succession uh, william III, who was the king of england after uh, his death uh, yes this war um, was fought in the uh, in the era of queen anne who was the uh, the 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 youngest sister of uh, Queen Mary uh, who was the uh, daughter of James II and we talked about James II in the previous lecture in detail so William III after his death in uh, uh, 1702 uh, was succeeded by Queen Anne after the death of uh, in the Bill of Rights we talked about in detail so Queen Anne, Queen Anne came to the throne and the, uh, the the most important event of her reign was the war of spanish succession so what were the causes of uh, war of spanish succession so the first and important cause of the war of spanish succession was uh, uh, william's desire to maintain the balance of power in europe this was the prime cause of this war of spanish succession so how william was uh, uh, there were two great powers the other powers were um, uh, were not that much as england and france were uh, here uh, william this was his desire to maintain balance, balance uh, the no country may get a, enough stronger that the fees of the europe could be disturbed uh, Charles II, uh, Spanish king, had two sisters, as we talked, uh, and the name of uh, his sisters uh, was uh, the elder sister Maria Theresa, who was married to Louis the Putin. The, the elder sister was uh, married to Louis the Putin, the king of France, and the younger Margaret Theresa was married to the uh, the the, uh, the the king of austria leopold leopold is the name of a person who uh, to whom she was married and thus uh, in in the grandson of uh, charles ii who was also in bavaria Bavaria was a small state of Europe at that time, located near uh, in the in the vicinity of Germany, now part of Germany. So there were three claimants. There were three people who could claim the uh, the throne of Spain. Uh, even it was intolerable for William III that if uh, if it. Uh, it, it is occupied by the France. Uh, the, uh, the this will definitely disturb the peace in Europe. And same is the case with Austria. Austria was also a, uh, an arise at that time, and Bavaria was another that could uh, shift the balance to to any side. Thus, uh, as a result of this crisis, the war took place. Mm, uh, between France and, and, and England and finally it was uh, uh, decided uh, under as a result of a treaty and the treaty is known as uh, partition treaty mm, and this treaty uh, through this treaty and a diplomatic solutions uh, were find out by the uh, Spain that who will come to the throne and in, 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 the, in the end of the lecture, we will uh, talk about that who uh, get to the throne of Spain. But we must keep it in mind that there were three claimants to the Spain. There was Austria, France and Bavaria. And the war was 
uh, the war took place just for the reason that to maintain balance in Europe and this war was sparked by William III. So, uh, so William's desires to maintain balance in Europe uh, is the first reason for the uh, war of Spanish succession. Uh, the second important reason of war of Spanish succession was uh, efforts made by uh, Louis XIV to occupy Belgium and Holland. If you uh, search these two countries, uh, Holland is also known as Netherlands. So these two countries were strategically uh, important for England and, and they were also in, in some alliances in the past with England. And Louis the Fourteen tried to occupy these two, uh, uh, these two countries. So uh, it was really important for England to secure and safeguard these two countries. Thus, a war uh, took place uh, between France and uh, uh, England, um, due to which the war of uh, Spanish succession also took place because this was the initial um, uh, uh, phase uh, that was paving the way for the war of Spanish succession. Is the the, the the terms and conditions and the situation was uh, uh, the situation was gone to, were gone to the lowest um, uh, that 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 it uh, consequently resulted in the war between France and England on Spain. Uh, the third and, and, and important reason was the. Uh, commercial rivalry between France and England. As uh, we uh, have talked about in the previous lectures that uh, there were two great powers. Many times uh, we have talked about that England and France, these two were great powers of Europe. They had commercial uh, rivalry. They had colonies. They had colonies in America. They had colonies in uh, in, in, in in Africa, they had colonies in, in Asia, subcontinent. So, uh, uh, to secure the, the, that commercial interest, they were decker drawn enemies. The, the, the economic interest bring them to the brink of war. So, this was the another important reason of the war of Spanish succession that fueled the war of Spanish succession. So, uh, 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 the economic rivalry between France and uh, uh, England. And fourth important was the breach of the Treaty of Respect by Louis XIV. As we talked about the, uh, the, 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 this treaty, and the treaty was, uh, uh, was concluded uh, between France and England when it was decided and it, when it was accepted by Louis the Poutine that the uh, William III uh, shall uh, come to the throne of England and he will be a, he will be accepted as the crown prince of England. But once uh, James II die, uh, died, his uh, son James III um, uh, was uh, in a position to be supported by France and again uh, could inflict uh, um, a defeat on William and, and come to the throne of England. So uh, the treaty was signed that uh, uh, France shall not support James II, but he violated this uh, this treaty and supported the son of James II, uh, James III. Thus, uh, the breach of this treaty resulted in the war of Spanish succession. Uh, in this uh, uh, in this treaty, uh, this breach really uh, antagonized both the Whig and Tory parties of England. In September 1701, uh, William made an alliance uh, with other countries known as Grand, Grand Alliance and their alliance included Holland, Germany, and England. Uh, uh, 
uh, yes, this was the, on the one side, while on, on the other side, there, uh, there, were, there were France, Spain, and Bavaria. So uh, these four reasons are really important in the war of Spanish succession. How this war concluded? Uh, this war concluded as a result of a treaty known as Treaty of Utrecht. Treaty of Utrecht mean, uh, that, that took place in 1713 and uh, uh, what were the terms of this treaty? So uh, we will talk about uh, the, uh, the terms of the, this treaty. Uh, the first and important term was the uh, Philip was recognized as the king of Spain. Philip, who was the son of France, and he was recognized as the uh, king of Spain. Right? And another important uh, uh, term uh, or the clause of the treaty was the Spanish Netherlands, Milan, Naples, and Sar Sardinia were given to Austria. As we talked about, that Austria was also one of the claimants. So, she was given the following uh, states and the Duke of Savoy received Sicily, right? And the fourth and important term of the treaty was uh, England received uh, Gibraltar. Gibraltar, that is, uh, mm, that is that's a strait uh, in, in Europe. So she received the Strait of Gibraltar and some other colonies in America that's known as Newfoundland, Nevascota, and uh, Menor Menorah. So these were given to England. And England also got uh, the right uh, of slave trade in uh, the colonies of America. So this right was also given under this Treaty of Utrecht. And uh, the most important uh, clause of this uh, treaty was Queen Anne was uh, uh, was accepted by the by the King of France Louis the Fourteen. She was accepted as the Crown Prince of England. So these uh, uh, were the clauses in the treaty under which the War of Spanish Succession was concluded. Now coming to the importance of this treaty. What was the importance of this treaty? So uh, the first and most important importance of this treaty was uh, it maintained balance in the Europe because things were the, the, the situation or the crisis were, um, were resolved as a result of negotiation or dialogues so uh, in, in it was kind of uh, that no no great power or no single power could dominate the other and thus the uh, situation or the issue was resolved as a result of negotiation so the balance of power was maintained in europe the first important reason and secondly uh, france uh, got weakened at that time because uh, uh, in the treaty, uh, England had given many important places. There was in, in America, in, in Europe, the Strait of Gibraltar, and uh, even uh, uh, some other uh, uh, colonies uh, to England. And, and France also accepted, uh, ex accepted uh, the Queen Anne as the throne, you know, as the king of England. So thus France was weakened. This is another important uh, uh, importance of the treaty and through which balance of power was also maintained in Europe. And thirdly, it was a great act of states, uh, spo uh, uh, statesmanship. How uh, it was, the, the, this treaty was a great act of statesmanship uh, because um, the situation in 11 year war, uh, year war was uh, resolved as a result of a treaty and this was really a great statesmanship for both Germany, uh, sorry, uh, England, France 
and the and the credit goes to their leaders and the fourth important reason of this treaty is uh, uh, safety of Helen was further guaranteed Helen which was uh, which uh, almost took the side of England and under this treaty uh, the guarantee of Holland was guaranteed. France uh, will not violate or France will not invade her again. So this is another importance. And uh, Spain was specified. Spain was specified means uh, the situation and the crisis that uh, was created uh, was now specified and it become, it become peaceful now. And Philip was given the throne, and thus uh, the situation resolved. Uh, this uh, treaty also made uh, England a great naval power. England received many colonies through which uh, uh, she could uh, um, trade through uh, uh, sea, uh, sea routes. Thus, uh, England uh, came out as a great naval power. In the revolution of uh, the, the, the revolution of settlement become permanent. So the revolution of settlement become permanent in a way that Queen Anne, uh, which is known as Hanoverian dynasty, and they were accepted by France. Thus, this revolution, the acceptance of Queen Anne was permanently accepted by France. So these are the importance of uh, uh, the, the the treaty of you uh, treat uh, that was uh, concluded in 1713. So this is all about the war of Spanish succession. Uh, if there is any question regarding the said topic, you must ask in the comment section. Mm, I will definitely uh, try to uh, answer your question. If there is uh, any uh, uh, anyone uh, needs these notes which I have prepared. Uh, through very um, uh, hard work uh, so, so you may ask in the comment section I will uh, try my best to, to find way out how you can get these notes so thank you so much for watching the video I'm highly highly obliged to ask question in the comment section thank you so much